In the mad dash to the top of New Japan, we've seen even leaders trampled on the way. Now at the doorstep of the new era in Bullet Club, which member will find themselves at the end of the barrel? I'm Kevin Kelly, and this is The Recount. Bullet Club was in prime position to steal the spotlight at Wrestle Kingdom 10, being in five of the 10 matches on the card and five of the eight title matches. But AJ Styles' bout with Shinsuke Nakamura for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship was the dream match everybody wanted. While it more than delivered on the hype for the fans, it didn't deliver gold to the stable. Among the Bullet Club, only the Young Bucks could call themselves champions at the end of the night. There were even bigger issues, however, brewing in the background. Rumors flooded the wrestling world that both Nakamura and Styles may be planning to leave New Japan. Kenny Omega heard opportunity knock while he stood in the ring with both of them. You're gonna see some crazy shit today. Oh yeah, it's going down. Just you wait! <laughs> Omega pinning the IWGP Intercontinental Champion was shocking. The following celebration, however, was unbelievable. The statement made by Kenny Omega is an enormous one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second, wait a second, what the what hell is this? is this? He just stepped AJ Styles off the top. One way angel on AJ, that's the leader of Bullet Club. What the hell is going through the mind of Kenny Omega? Young Bucks seemingly trying to talk some sense into Omega. Now they've helped AJ back to his feet. Maybe we'll settle this. Wait a minute! Triple super kicks! Are you with me? Come on. What do you say, boys? They're with you against me. Oh my goodness! Bullet Club is united around Omega! The Young Bucks, Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows, and Cody Hall all joined in to expel Styles from Bullet Club. You had this coming, AJ. We gave you the big matches. We gave you the big pay-per-views. We made you a star. We paid you like a star while I struggled, while I starved, forcing myself to be a junior. Well, AJ, if you were the boss, you have now been fired. I'm coming for you, and I'm coming for your title, because the Bullet Club, we rule the world. He and the Bucks appeared to form an exclusive group in a tier of their own, an elite tier. AJ Styles, lose, 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 lose. He's a fucking loser! You can't be the elite and be a loser. Omega claimed the Intercontinental Championship, a title painted in a distinct breed of strong style that was vacated by the very man who defined Tell them it. That you're scared. Now Omega would paint it in his own color, with his high-risk, high-impact wrestling, and with the Young Bucks never far from his side. Young Bucks is next up. And the new champion. You don't like it? I don't care. You don't speak English? I don't. Care. As successful as Omega was as a solo heavyweight, the trio of the elite was its own force to be feared in New Japan. Capturing the new never open weight six men tag team championships. Young Bucks Their antics angered orthodox performers and fans. <laughs> Sorry, so we're at the forefront of professional mother heffing professional wrestling. <laughs> Omega crested a wave of momentum and in the summer of 2016 achieved what most thought impossible. On his very first attempt, he became the first non-Japanese wrestler to ever win the G1 Climax. One, two, three! Yes! He did it! Oh! He will not raise the flag in the G1, but instead will wave. The Bullet Club flag. The accomplishment granted Omega the main event of Wrestle Kingdom 11, bringing an unprecedented number of foreign eyes 
to both New Japan and Bullet Club, but the duality between the group and the elite became noticeable. We are the elite, grovel at our feet, treat us like the kings we are. Bullet Club would be joined by the likes of Adam Cole, Hangman Page, and Cody. This is Camelot, this is a round table. It's Mediocrity loves company and so does Magnificence and this is fucking magnificent. For founding member Tama Tonga, memories of being overshadowed pre-Bullet Club were beginning to surface. You want to be the leader of the Bullet Club? Huh? Then you got to represent the Bullet Club. Who the fuck is the elite, huh? Planting the seed for his brother Tonga Loa to join the club that spring. Welcome to the Bullet Club and Japan. We are the new breed of the new era of the Bullet Club. We are God. God! The two quickly became IWGP Tag Champs, but perhaps truly earned respect in defeat to GBH in a memorable brawl to round out the 2016 World Tag League. Still, it was Kenny Omega who appeared in every headline and plotted in sight. His Wrestle Kingdom 11 bout with Kazuchika Okada was hailed as one of the greatest matches of all time. He became obsessed with holding the IWGP Heavyweight Championship and etching his name in its history as well as taking New Japan Global. The faction was led to Bedlam when another alpha male looking to be at the top of the food chain joined Omega. It was clear from the outset, from his debut match defeating Juice Robinson in Wrestle Kingdom 11, that Cody wasn't going to play second fiddle to anyone. And it was only a matter of time before Cody made a play for the authority of Bullet Club. Dominion June 11th in Osaka Joe Hall. Okada and Omega locked up in a rematch for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. This time, the indiscreet new member almost cost Omega the match. Cody's gonna throw the towel in. What is he doing? Don't let him do it. Prevented from throwing in the towel, Cody watched as the champ and challenger go to a 60-minute draw. What at first seemed like the American Nightmare showing concern for his teammate looked like he wanted to take Kenny's place and challenge Okada instead. Congratulations! The IWGP Champion once again! You were afraid to measure yourself against a goddamn superstar. There's your challenge. Although unsuccessful, Cody still plotted to wrest control of Bullet Club. Rather than stab Omega in the back, however, he attacked his heart. Kota Ibushi was dealing with serious injuries and mental exhaustion, leading him to wrestle a very limited schedule throughout 2016 in the first half of 2017. But now, Ibushi was back, and the possibility of the Golden Lovers meeting was tantalizing. Ultimately, Tetsuya Naito put up a roadblock on that possibility. Destino! Oh, Destino! Exhausted after the intense bout, Omega was assisted to the back where Ibushi awaited him. Cody, who was feeling out a potential coup, took note of what he found to be Omega's biggest weakness. A single match for Wrestle Kingdom 12 was what the American Nightmare not only wanted, but needed. Cody had planned to beat Ibushi and use the win to assert himself as the commander of Bullet Club. Cody was the one who challenged the down and out Ibushi who came so close to capturing that intercontinental title and power struggle. Immediately after submitting David Finley to win the 10-man tag at New Year Dash, Cody knocked down the first domino in his crooked plan. Cody is going after Ibushi. Yeah, he wants revenge for last night. Take him out. Whoa, wait a minute, it's Omega. It's Omega. Omega. What the hell? Kenny's the leader, I think that's yeah. obvious. Omega did not mince Cody words. doesn't like he it. He told him right there that he's the leader. Desperate to hold on to the strings of the unraveling faction, Omega made an enormous offer to a recently returned rising star. We need unity. I know exactly what we need. Switchblade. Wow. wow. So Kenny Omega says the path to unity for Bullet Club is through Switchblade Jay White. 
I always known what you could be. Look at you, you're the complete package. And so, welcome to the club. Wow. This is the path to unity. Stop the infighting. And Switchblade is now a main guy. Wow. Courtesy of the leader of the Bullet Club, Kenny Omega. Yeah. News being made out of New Year's Dash. Wait a minute! What the hell? No! Oh. Blade Runner! What is that? I'm taking your bow now. White's attack set the scene for a U.S. championship title defense at New Beginning in Sapporo. Switchblade would score the biggest win of his young career in a shocking upset to become the second ever U.S. champion. But again, the big story came after the bell. What the hell? Through the house, people wanted to see him win. And now it looks like Hangman Page is wasting no time to perhaps challenge the new champ. Page needs to get to the back. What is this? This isn't about you. This isn't about you. you hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, hey, relax. you moment. This is my best friend. You can't take his moment. Man, not Jack, acting not like a leader. Not right now. No one can do it. Not right now. Win. Right what is your deal? Hey, no. hey. Oh, come on now. And I don't think Omega realized that it was Matt Jackson. Listen, listen, listen. Not right now. We're not doing this right now. It's good. What a person. It's good. What a person. Thank you. Good. There you go. All right. See, I told you. having some second thoughts now. Well, Omega's been obliterated. Look out now, this could break down. Oh! After years apart, the Golden Lovers were back, and in Kenny's words, were ready to change the world together. And this is what these fans have been waiting for, literally for years. Subscribe now to keep up with the latest episodes of The Recount. And don't forget to sign up at NJPWWorld.com to watch all of these exciting matches in full.